welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Maya and I'm a theology student at Durham University. I'm at Johnson o College and today I thought I would show you around my first year room because I am moving out literally next week which is just terrifying and I thought it's my last chance to film this video so here we are. If you aren't aware of how Durham University works it's a collegiate system which is similar to Oxford and Cambridge so when you get given your place at this uni you get assigned to college in your first year you live in college which is similar to halls some of the colleges are a bit similar to like boarding school vibes like some of them are shared rooms most of them are catered for this is the most similar to halls i would say because it's self-catered and it has ensuite and that kind of thing um it really depends which college you go for if you're planning on coming to Durham, I would do research on each college individually and find which everyone fits best for you. So I've been living here since September. I uh, went home for a little bit of a Christmas and Easter, um, but for the majority of the year, I've just been here. Um, in second term, it was just me and my boyfriend Aaron because all of my other flatmates got stuck at home because of the lockdown. So not the first year experience that I was expecting to have, but definitely a fun one, all the same, just in different ways. Before I came to uni, all I did was binge watch videos on you know, like uni halls tours and uni room tours and that kind of thing. And there are no videos for Jon Snow because it's brand new. And I think for any future Snow or South College students, because the rooms are very, very similar, it's um, it'll be fun to watch. And even if you're not from South or Snow and you just wanted to see the the room of, of a John Snow student at Durham Uni. Uh, here we are, let's just get straight into it because I've been talking for way too long. So when you walk in, this is the view. Look in the front door, here's a light switch. The light is actually off at the moment. Um, here is a full-length mirror, which is brilliant, where I take all of my selfies before I night out. And below that, we've just got a radiator and uh, that's where I keep like my clothes area. This is like a really nice, like big, space here just nice and empty little walkway um and then here is the door for the bathroom which is my ensuite which i'll come back to in a minute i'll show you the room first so when we walk in we have these two hooks which are brilliant because i didn't think there's going to be any hooks and i was kind of worried about that um i've got so many hoodies and coats as you can see i mean you need them in durham because it's freezing um kind of overflowing it makes it hard to walk past but <laughs> we move <laughs> So on this side, we have wardrobes and some shelves. I keep my suitcase on top of there. Um, this is a lockable one. Um, we don't need to open this, but it's nice and sizable. It's got all of my unorganized shoes in there. And then in here we've got, I swear this is organized. It looks so messy, but it is organized, I promise. Um, all of my summer clothes <laughs> that I have just bought for the summer. And then in the bottom, I just keep my old poly dresses in their boxes so that they don't like lose their elasticity. And then we have these shelves here, which is where I keep like the majority of my clothes. Keep my like towels and bath mats and that kind of stuff down there. I've got underwear, trousers, uh, gym sports bras, like little cami tops, like sort of pajama tops, t-shirts, no sorry, not t-shirts, nice tops, <laughs> t-shirts and gym tops. I've got all of my shorts in here, all of my, Gym leggings are in there, and then I've just got a bag and socks behind there, and just little bits and bats. So that's my clothes storage. Is I was a bit worried before that before I came that there wouldn't be enough space, but there's more than enough. I just got these from like Donnell, I think. Yeah, they sell them everywhere. They sell them in a range, so maybe home bargains, like well, those kind of places. Um, but they're so useful for organising everything because if not, this would these like shelves would be such a mess. But yeah, it's a good sizable wardrobe. There's definitely enough space for any clothes that you might have. So moving on to my desk. It's a really good sized desk to be fair. Here's my, my lovely photo wall. The photos are all from free print. Um, even like the, the Polaroid looking ones, I just um, got a template online and then edited the pictures in, then cut them when they got here so that I didn't have to pay more for like photos that were already in the size, I just DIY'd it. Got my planner, my weekly planner. This is so helpful when lectures were on. Um, obviously like terms finished now, but it's still very useful. My meal planner, which I do not use as much as I should. I swear, this is literally from like exam season. 
because I remember having donuts for exam and it says donut woo, so <laughs> yeah, I think that's from Home Bargains. That was a gift from my auntie, I think, so I can't remember where that's actually from. Um, I've got my pen pot, which is from Ikea. These fairy lights are from the range and the battery pack just hides behind there. Um, the same with my makeup brushes from Ikea. Not my makeup brushes, the holder. The mirror is from Boots, I think, number seven. And then, I don't know where this basket's from, but it holds all my makeup in it. My makeup, when I started the year, was in like bigger versions of the acrylic storage. But I don't really wear makeup that much at the moment. And um, it didn't need to be as bulky as it was. So I just threw all of it in here. It's not very organized, but it works well for me. Here, I've got my guitar and the guitar stand. Um, one of the strings is broken and now it's now, now it's now, now it's incredibly out of tune. So things we love to see, I need to buy a new string for that. Um, the other, the other cork board, is it cork board? I don't know what you call it, but it is so hard to push these pins in. Like I had bruises on my fingers in the Freshers Week because of how hard it was to push those in. In the drawers, I've got like some hair stuff in here, like all my scrunchies and hair bands, Halloween costume, um, that kind of thing in there, toilet wipes because IBD. Um, and this one I've got all of my tech stuff and quite a lot of Aaron's tech stuff as well because he like bring his MacBook and the charger and his like phone chargers and then leave them out and I hate them being out so I just throw them all in there. And then I've got like COVID tests and things. <laughs> Aaron's glasses, just miscellaneous stuff goes in there. Under the desk is where I keep my like hair dryer, hair straighteners, curlers, all of that. This blanket I think is from the range. I just put it over the chair because it's like a, oh, my nails chipped. It's like a, just a normal blue desk chair. It's not very pretty, so I thought I'd cover that up. And then college provided this bin when we moved in. So up on these shelves, this is where the academic side of things is and the biscuits obviously so these are like my course books um this is where i keep my notes there's definitely not as many notes as i should be this year my biscuit tin is currently empty because erin ate all of my snacks when i was in hospital so <laughs> yeah um in here i've got like flashcards and like just study things that kind of thing jack edwards book because are you even a durham student if you are not a jack edwards fan um, I've got a Hey Estrid package that they sent me and I still haven't posted about yet because I still haven't tried them. <laughs> I sent me ages ago, I feel like it's too late now. Um, in this acrylic drawer set I've just got my earrings and necklaces and all that kind of thing. And then just some, uh, some more books, these like my personal reading books. And then my diary and my budget planner. And then in this magazine um, thingy. I'm so sorry, look at this tag, it is literally tragic. Just please ignore it. Um, in here, I've just got some like more free prints and um, just bits and bobs that do not fit in there. Then on this side, we have a little alcohol stash that honestly, I thought I would have got through by now. It was definitely bigger at the beginning of the year, but we haven't been out that much this year. I haven't been drinking that much because I've been too ill. But yeah, there is my alcohol stash. At least I've got it for next year. If I start drinking next year, who knows? Um, I've got my perfumes, I've got a plant from Ikea. This I think is from Primark. Um, it just has like incense sticks and some face masks in it that I, we burn the incense sticks outside. Obviously you can't burn them in here, but if we ever go up to Observatory Hill, it's like really, really nice to have um, nice smelling things. We have a nice big walkway here, big enough to do yoga. Um, if you so wanted to do that. We have some underbed storage, which I am such a huge fan of. It is literally huge. Like it goes all the way under the bed and there's two two of these. I just have some like long life food, gym stuff. I keep my bedding in that. Um, on the other side, I've got like spare kitchen stuff, that kind of thing. I'm such a fan of the amount of storage in this room. That is like one of the reasons I love it so much. And then here I've got my uni bag, it's my backpack. And then that's like my everyday bag. Here is my window, it is quite big. That's South College, right across from my room. Um, here we have on my windowsill some really cute bunnies that my mum bought me for my birthday. I literally am in love with them, they're so cute. I think they're from Home Bargains or somewhere similar. This is just a cute little IKEA plant and a card from my mum. And then 
down here I've got loads of bags for life. And here is my laundry bag. This is from B&M. I just keep it stuffed at the end of my bed because I like to think about my laundry as little as possible because circuit laundry is the bane of my life. My bedding, I think it's from Tesco's. I bought it actually in the big Tesco's in Durham. My throw is from Dunelm. It's one of the teddy ones. It is so soft. I've got a, a jelly cat. Um, bear. It's the little bear from TikTok. Um, Aaron bought it for me for Valentine's Day, I think. But I keep him in the dust bag because it's really, really dusty in this room. And he's so precious. That I don't want him to get dirty, but oh my god, I love him so much. So this is a three quarter bed. So it's like a small double forward slash um, big single, I guess you could say. Um, it's a good size, but it's, it's, it's definitely good for one person. If you have people staying over or you're, you're sleeping in the bed with someone, it can be a bit of a tight squeeze. Here I've got my alarm clock, a little incense holder. Um, obviously I can't use it in here. Um, Vaseline, my charger. This is like for this. And then this is for the the main light and there's that one there for the under desk light. Um, Ikea plant, here's the thingy for the, the heating. Um, this is from b and I just keep my jewellery in it, the book that I'm reading at the moment and Christmas card from Erin that is still up and of course the chicken. Again we have my hooks, I've got like my hoodies on this one and um, dressing gowns, fluffy hoodie um, and then in my bathroom. Um, got toilet <laughs> obviously um there's a toilet roll holder that came with the came built in um there's a heated towel rail which is amazing um i put a hook on the door from my friend kada that's where i like hang my towels but i just put my towel in the wash so i need to get a new one from there um these drawers are from the range the bin i don't know where the bin is from but it's you can get them in the range and bargains bookers anywhere like that um, this pot is from Ikea and it just keeps all my cleaning products in. Um, there is a cabinet here that has all of my skincare. It doesn't look organised but I promise you it is. Um, I know the organisation anyway. Um, these are from B&M, my soap and toothbrush dispenser phone slash holder. Um, in here I just keep like shampoos, conditioners, um, hair products and tanning stuff, like a little first aid non-IBD related medical stuff and then sanitary products in the bottom one. I This is so useful, like I don't know where I would put all this stuff if I didn't have this. Um, the shower comes with a, what's that called? A, a holder? A product holder? Um, and I just have some more down there, but the shower is a really good shower to say it's in uni halls, like the, the pressure is really good and the temperature is really good. But when the fire alarms go off, the water goes off. So if you are, the fire alarms here get tested at 2 p.m. on Monday. So if you're in the shower at that point, it's gonna go off. You're not gonna have any water for about uh, 10 minutes on and off. It like goes on and then off and then on and off. It is so annoying. And if there's a real fire alarm, then it will probably go off for a while. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like it if you did and comment down below if you have any video suggestions or requests or anything like that remember to follow me on instagram at myagog and tiktok at myagog fitness they will be linked in the description box um but yeah that's it from me i hope you have a lovely evening or night or day or morning or whenever you're watching this just have a good have a good one